Hello, and welcome to the vlog, episode 16. I need to make this disclaimer before this video starts because I am so embarrassed. I have a blueberry stuck in my teeth. I am fully aware as I'm editing this right now, and I'm so embarrassed. My sister ends up pointing it out to me at Home Goods, so it goes away while I'm there. But you guys, why didn't my mom point it out to me? Okay, that is all. Enjoy the vlog. <laughs> what is up, vlog? It is Saturday, August 20th. Oh my God, I'm my dad. I do that. <laughs> My dad used to do that um, back in the day when he'd film us on his watch. Yeah. On his G-Shock. On his G-Shock one. Because he actually, he's the OG of vlogging now that I think yeah, about he it. Really is. He would come around with those big, huge video cameras that are like <laughs> as big as my head. That was back in the day. That's what we had. And it was like, what, little discs? Mm -hmm. It was discs, yes. right? He'd have to buy like blank discs to film us, but he'd film us like every school dance, every recital, every competition. And like when you're little, you love it. But then as you get older, you get a little more sassy. And you're like, dad, get that away. <laughs> you know, it's kind of fun. Anyways, we are doing kind of a mother-daughter shopping day. I'm going to the farmer's market this morning in Bernie, which is pretty lame, but <laughs> I'll show you guys around. There's like four booths. But Mom likes pressed juice and they have like a really good pressed juice station obviously i will not be partaking in any of the eating or drinking of juices but you have to taste it though. i'll take a little so sip then we're gonna go to home goods or hobby lobby whichever um we haven't decided yet and maybe mckenna will meet us up there because they put all their fall decor and stuff out and if you know me and my mom, we love decorating for holidays. We love the fall season, we love the winter season. So definitely getting ahead of the game there. It's literally August 20th, but. Yeah, I know. And then we have to order. I'm not gonna order it until September 1st, but our nest candle. Oh, our nest, yes. <laughs> Every year my, well my mom, first of all, is gonna drive in <laughs> the middle of the road. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're gonna do first. And then, so yeah, her driving is horrendous. But every year we get a, a Nest candle. It's the orange version, like oh, the limited so edition. Good. And it smells so good. You guys probably have seen it in my fall <laughs> vlogs, but it's the best smell ever. And we only burn it. <laughs> Starting September 1st. We love our nest candles. True. I don't they're think so anything's expensive. better than it. They're gotta, so expensive. You gotta save it. You know what my pet peeve is for those big, bigger candles? When one wick gets down into the- Is it wick? It's a wick. Well, one wick. It gets down, down in the into, wax. Yes. And you have to like dig it out. Yes. Oh, it's horrible. And then it burns and one side gets black and- I, I never thought that. about that. You're right, that does bother me. I have wicks though. So if that ever happens, cause I like, I bought like a wick oh, kit. that's right. Yeah, so I can help. Cause I, I did that with one of my candles cause it was doing the same thing. Anyways, that's kind of what's going on now. I'll see you guys at the farmer's market. And we get the front spot front row it's literally packed today and we get the front row because this is the yeah, the, air, the aura that she presents <laughs> yep that's about it right yes. there up in bernie's farm of mine Let's see your juices, little tiny thing. I'm so excited. I'm gonna eat one, now. eat one. You're gonna eat it. That looks no, so no. good. Oh, shit. I wish you would try. She won't try it. She's so dedicated. Well, is that a bad thing? Okay, so I ended up buying this hot, hot, hot salsa, which I'm really excited about because I can actually eat this, but also because Wyatt loves salsa, especially anything spicy. Wyatt loves anything spicy. And we ended up getting dog cookies as well because Biggie's birthday is tomorrow. And we're doing like some kind of party or something where it's literally just our three dogs. <laughs> Got cookies and they had, I love my golden retriever. They had, I love my French Bulldog and they didn't have any Springers. So he just got a plain Jane cookie, which I'm like, oh, see, so she has eggs. See? Do you want to go get eggs? No, <laughs> I don't, it's hot. It is hot. Well, now we know, I guess. But now they do have fresh eggs. Because I really, I, that's what I said. I really want fresh eggs. You guys probably saw the little clips I had. They don't have any fruits and vegetables or like things that you would expect out of farmer's market. They have like jams, jelly, soaps, candles, like that kind of stuff. Here it is. We haven't been in so long. We haven't been since the last time I vlogged, which was Halloween like two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Or maybe it was last year. Literally last year. Yeah. So here we go. We're just gonna look. That's our keyword. So whenever we all lived at home and we were in high school and my mom and I, or like my sisters and my mom, we wanted to go shopping. My dad, like, it was weird about buying stuff, obviously. That's just how all dads are, I feel like. And we would just be like, oh, we're just going to look. We're just going to look. <laughs> so that's our keyword. I was like, we're just gonna go look. And then put all the bags inside the other Put all the bags inside the bags, yes. <laughs> what does? 
Oh, this color? No, this kind of painted furniture. That was so in. <gasps> it does, but mom, this color reminds me of my room. That's daiquiri ice. Daiquiri ice. I mean, the aesthetic. We're really liking this right now, but we can't decide if it's worth $60 because of the fake candles. Fake candles are kind of annoying. But like these together, it's so pretty. You can even put little candies in there or something. Yeah. That's so cute. Look at all these really cute things. I love all the, like, oh my gourd. That's so cute. Oh, mom, look at this little green one. It says gather. Okay, go next door to each other. It's so cute. I love it. And then there's like that. Look at the aesthetic. This is what we're kind of thinking this year, but this is the only thing in the cart that's currently mine. Look how pretty it is. Smells and it so smells good. like an anthropology candle. I'm obsessed with it. Can only light it on when? September. September 1st. Wow. It's a little girl. You're getting one? I found another one. Mom said, look how. What for what? We're just looking. She loves we're it. Overwhelmed. We're um, no, Our word today is subtle. Oh, God. They were so funny. Look at this yeah, cart filled so to the brink. This is her boyfriend. But we're about to check out because Here's we're just looking. Present. Mom, what do you think about today's shopping experience? Pretty good, pretty good, it's all mine. It's all yours. I, I just can't figure out what vibe I want yet, but when I figure it out, I'll come back and get filler stuff. One can say that we did pretty good. I ended up getting a few more things that I will show you guys when I get home because I'm really excited about setting it up. So we just went to Kava, obviously I didn't get anything. And my mom's never been, so I'm excited for you to try that out. But we are gonna go ahead and head home because it was so packed in there. The line took like forever, so I felt weird pulling my camera out. But McKenna just took her food to go. Tomorrow is Biggie's birthday party, so we're gonna stop by this cute little pet shop, local pet shop in Bernie. It's called Fetch and Whiskers, and it's so cute. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. Ah. Uh, but it's so cute, and McKenna placed an order for Biggie's birthday cake, so that'll be super fun to see. Guys, look at this cake. <laughs> It's so cute. They have the cutest stuff in here, and we love to support local help versus. Me, help me find diet food for honey. Unbelievable. I'm gonna buy some of these things. It's pour overs, so you just pour it over their food to see if they will eat more, because Champ doesn't eat a lot for some reason. So maybe this will make it better if it's a little bit more moist. Quick home goods haul while my camera is still alive. We have this pampas grass vase that is perfect for any fall decor. I'm really excited to add that in. These hand towels in this rust color. I also got these for the kitchen. I thought they'd be really fun. I'm gonna take off those labels and put dish and hand soap. And then this little tray here to hold that. This is my favorite item. It's a gorgeous candle. It smells just like the Capri Blue one. And then this is spray that I can spray on our bed after we make it or any fabric and it smelled so good. So that's all I got at Home Goods. My camera's gotta die. What's up guys? It is actually a few days later. My camera died and I just didn't pick it back up until now because I uploaded my footage and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to add more to this and nothing in this video has to do with this series. So I wanted to kind of tie it back in, but I did want to show you guys some mom and daughter content because I know you guys like to see that. I've been hanging out with my mom a lot. I just really cherish those moments with her now, especially after what all she went through in March, being in the hospital. I definitely love to hang out with her and capture those moments because life is so short and you never know. I know that sounds morbid, but things that I've been through and of course having that hospital stay with my mom, just scary. So I like to capture those moments and look back and laugh and just have a good time. I just got an updated meal plan from my coach yesterday and you guys, we are adding food. We are adding food. I just wanted to say that I know that in these videos I come across so optimistic and excited, but I definitely have my moments of doubt, not doubt in my coach, but doubt in myself that I am regressing or things kind of scare me a little bit when you add more food and more calories and more carbs and everything like that. It's definitely been a struggle lately. It's really stretching my limits and pushing myself, which has been an amazing experience thus far. Still doing everything that my coach is telling me to do. I am not cheating no matter how scared I am of whatever it may be. We added rice cakes and almond butter and strawberry preserves 
on leg days. It's kind of like a pre-workout snack. Today is actually my first day on this new plan and I do plan on training legs today, but a little bit later. So I typically work out in the mornings as you guys know, and that was kind of my goal that I sent this month was to wake up at six o'clock every single morning or earlier, but usually six and get my workout in and then go straight into working. And that has been so great for me. Yesterday was Biggie's birthday party. I wish I would have vlogged that because you guys, it was so funny. I'm going to insert some clips of his birthday party here and some pictures you guys are gonna die it was so funny but that being said champ was eating cake and cookies dog cake and cookies obviously which he never has and his t tummy was upset or is it your tummy upset kept waking up like every couple hours last night and i had to let him out so there was just no way i could wake up early and get my workout in i really wanted to pick up the camera and tie this back into my bodybuilding series i am officially 11 weeks out i know a lot of times a lot of girls start prep 16 weeks out or 14 weeks out or 15 weeks out if you're considering a bodybuilding show and you're watching my videos to you know get inspiration or see if you want to even do it just know that my journey and this is so cheesy and cliche but Seriously, my journey and my body are totally different from yours. You could be eating the exact same things I'm eating and be losing weight or the opposite. My metabolism has just gone on speed drive, which has been an amazing blessing and I know that I'm blessed with that. So we are still adding calories. We are still building a little bit more. I'm trying to hold on to that muscle that I have built. Then start prep. I'm going to start prep next month. I know that for sure. So sometime in September. I just don't want you guys to think that if you see me on prep and oh, it's not that bad and she doesn't have to do this or that or she doesn't have to start, you know, prep until mid-September with her show in November. Like, please know that your prep is going to look totally different. Your body is totally different from mine. I know there's a lot of bodybuilders out there that are on prep and refeeding and eating 600 grams of carbs a day. Just crazy, amazing stats on prep. But there are also a lot of people that eat little to nothing on prep and are doing hours of cardio just to achieve that stage leanness. So I just don't want you to guys to get this misconstrued idea of this bodybuilding experience based off of my body. You can use these as inspiration to get in the gym or you know, maybe you do wanna start a show and just kinda of seeing the ins and outs of what I'm doing, but please don't think that it's gonna be exactly the same journey as mine because it's just, there's just no way. We are all built so differently and have completely different bodies and genetics. I felt like that was really important to say. When I got that meal plan back, I was kind of not upset, but nervous. And I was like, oh, like so-and-so is, is already on prep and they are, you know, 12 weeks out and here I am 11 weeks out adding food to my plan, but trust the process and everybody is built totally different and everybody's journey to being stage lean is totally and completely different. So I needed to share that with you guys.